So here we have my new strom, the strom, and what I'm going to be doing today is first things first because I had it stolen. Is I'm going to fit this scissor up. So I'm just going to find out where I'm going to mount it. I've already loaded it on the phone. So I think what I'm going to do is quickly show you the unit and how simple it is to do. It's literally, this is the unit. Two wires. It's got a sticky pad on. Uh, you've got the IM when you load the app you've got the IMEI number which you have to put in so it attracts this must have some sort of phone see in it so really I am thinking of mounting this if there's any space I'm going to lift the tank up if there's any space under there that's where I'm going to mount it under there probably on the air box or whatever if there's any space if not I'll probably put it here because even if I cut the wires to this I think you've still got three hours battery built inside so you can still track it. So let's have a quick look at that then. A landscape. There's miles about that. I done it landscape and peregrine falcon. Right now I'm thinking that a couple of toys around there. I'm gonna ring the stinger, it was wing dinger. Right, now that's on. Now realistically, this uh, tracker should be uh, giving me something now. This is that Pro, let's have a look. This is cool. So it's on, now I've got it on. I don't want it on silent. Notification, latest news. I'll get uh, Maverick to set up because he's the master. So if you go like that, you can pinpoint your vehicle. Uh, let's have a look. Low battery detection. Uh, SMS. I'd found. <coughs> right then, okay. Right, I'm going to start putting it back together because I've got a lot of things to do and I can have a mess with it later. So, right then, I'm just going to bore. Right, I just need to put these wires a bit better. I've got it on. That lastings, pleasings. So they'll cut the wires as you're doing it. So yeah, that's looking nice and well. I can do that. I don't want that. Uh, Please things. Right, let's just see if I can put a little bit of slack on that. So it just goes behind it. Took, took it away. It's not bad, Richie. Right, I'll cut that. So the scissor app is in. You won't go now, this is now. Oh god, he's gotta be so careful with this now. I'm gonna cut a wire, do I? Let's go up it, you do. Oof. This is dangerous, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. So that's it. We did actually say somewhere. Online 12.93. Latest news. Slight motion. See that? I mean, I rocked the bike. They sent me an alert to say slight motion, so you know what? Well, it's got the data. Bang on, that is. All right, I am going to fit these engine crash bars. And the way I've done it is I've looked at the instructions and I've sort of I've had to get my tape measure and cross-reference the sizes on this here. So, I've sort of got, I did have everything in place. So that spacer there, 
is for there. The spacer is for there. I'm just a bit worried. Am I worried? But how the hell am I going to get a socky? Oh, it's an Allen key. My Allen key should go down there. But the only thing I ain't got is Loctite. So I'm going to install them anyway, pick some Loctite up tomorrow. So if you're looking at this, you must use it. There's a bit of Loctite on them. I can't seem to locate mine. I did have some. But uh, well, it'll be easy just to get them on today, tighten them up, and then take one out at a time tomorrow, bang the Loctite on. So remember, use Loctite. And also, do one side at a time. So this bolt here will hold and there's one on the other side will hold the engine in place so if you took just all the bolts out the engine's going to drop so on the instructions it says do one side at a time so you can take the i've already undone this one the long bolt that goes right the way through so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to because this bolt has come with already the, the nut on so i'm just going to slide this through So then what you do is you get this bolt. I'm going to see if it works. Let's just see if oh, I could get that sort of situated there with the bolt through. Just hanging there. What am I going to do? It's what are you going to do? See, I can pull this bolt right out now. And this one, it's got to have got to go on like that with a large spacer so I'm going to go through there like that then obviously that spacer just read the instructions just pushes it out to be before I do that I'm just going to put a bit of grease through this just not a lot Put it on the one side like that. I'm just going to feed this through. Mm. See, and then all I was going to do there is leave that like that. That's how we set it. So, mm, let's sort it out. Pigeon armor. And then the next bolt and spacer is this one here, which I think is 19, 20mm. And, oh, what bolt am I using? Another look at that. What kind of size of that beast on there? So, hopefully, this then should be, and I think this is a 14 mil, but that is all oh, the freaking Chakademus. Should have a 14 mil socket somewhere. Ah, that needs, that's bollocks up, that is. That's bollocks up there, look at that. Right, I just took all the audio out, pitch. So, that's got to come off. But that. That is strong enough to do that. And I've got a 14 mil socket somewhere. Right, I'm just going to shut off while I find it. So, pick up where we left off because I couldn't find my spanner, but I've eventually found it. Well, I haven't found the one I had to make do, but there you go. So then you get, I'll try and get that in there. With the other spacer like it says on the instructions this is our arm doing it and i don't need some thread locking but so then i'm just gonna get that sort of and and tight now they are pretty straightforward he says yeah, so this is it's it's all self-explanatory it looks a bit daunting to start with but these big bolts that's just temporarily in i can move it these that one there across the middle i mean it's a 17 mil on that end but i'll tell you something now it takes some crack it open oh, crafty demons so then that's what i've done so as long as you've got that bell back in the engine's not gonna move 
So the bolt sticking out there, about six foot. Looks like it. So the engine's going to go away now, and I've had to bloody rig this pathetic. Mind you, it is a good little tool. Pathetic little. Why? This is how I've got to do it because I got. I can't find the only foot one I want is forty. So it's gone from ten mil losing the ten mil to. Hang on, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, you am you dozy. Not am I? Am I? Lefty loose, eh? that's it, the wrong way. Check it to him, so it's down. Is it? You sorty shit. No, that's going. Oh, you crap. Sorry, everybody. Bear with the thick out today. I'm just making it harder. If I can't do this, we'll cut this bit. Come on, baby. There it goes, bro. It's hard graft. So then, what you do then is this. I'm a new strumble on. I do actually like this. Thanks to Viper for seeing it. You've got a good eye. Start with the camera angle. So that one comes out. That one's already sticking out. Ra, 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 pa, tipa, tapa. So there you go. That's so let's get all the space, isn't it? So, nut on there, tightened up in there. Bungs, that's enough for there, so, right? so then you're going to have that bung on there, like so. There we are, look. All done, tightened up, caps on, solid. See if it looks better, all tightened up. Yep, come around here, and protection bar along the front. But yeah, fairly easy, just in my opinion, just laughing out. Make sure you've got all the uh, right screws in the right place and start from the right side here so you can take this long bolt out this is really hard to get out on your own because I'm really 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 strong I managed it uh, that one can come out but remember don't take that one out and the other one out because your engine will drop and you will have trouble then um, you need to leave one of these in at all times to when you replace it so I've done this side Trying to put that bell through, took that one out, put that one in, then just put these in loose, put these in like loose as a sub support, go down the other side, easy. You don't need to be mechanically minded, it's just uh, probably torque settings, but it's, there's no torque settings on the, uh, well, I couldn't find any, so I've just tightened them right up. Well, to be honest, I will do them properly tomorrow when I put some, like a bit of lock tight in this here. So, oh, that was any use to anybody? Quite straightforward. I think virtually they're all the same. Over and out. So, next project is uh, it's from AS3 or A50, AS3 Performance, and it's a, a aluminium trail engine guard. Uh, to fit my bike, which I think needs it, looking at it like it just looks, I don't like that look. Everything exposed, so we've got this black aluminium, it's fairly light to be fair. So we're gonna have a quick look, read the instructions first. All right, hard on, and let's follow the instructions. There, nothing catching, center stand misses. So I think it looks so much better with that on. Get me. So first of all, it says remove origin, original protection. There's none. 
remove or origin means original screws marked in the photo so I'll do a T25 probably a T30 yeah it's a T30 so I'll put the little extension bar in so it's bound this way so it says remove original scores marked in the photo apply item number seven click box onto the item number ten and mount assembly onto the mount with the original screws so we simply just ah, left a little thing so then it's saying make sure you put them back in fasty fasty Batata. So, I might not get this anyway. Tighten back up. Tighten up in a minute, properly. Looks like I'll be having that. So right then, just be careful when you tighten them up, like me, screwed in. So that's that. Original screws, so turn over. Now we're on the opposite side. Remove the original screws without our attention to the cable clamp. Okay. Problem with the... Uh, let me get right engine guard I've done everything so I've literally fitted this bracket which I did wrong in the first place uh, fitted this bracket and then there should be a bracket that fits on there but when they've sent it they've telling me to install this bracket here with the two screws bolts sorry which is these with the spaces behind which these are the only 45 mil in length to replace the two that come out here like so with these on so that will push it out there then once that's done it's like these on it's virtually simple just connect it up and you've got one two three four five six um allen head pins just to put in but what they sent me was these they don't even fit through the holes and there's no way they're going into my engine well two i think these are my mates i should have sent m6s so i think i'm just going to buy some tomorrow as it's Sunday now, I've got time to go and get any now. Right, so I'm back again. So what happened is, let's fit in this. So I've got this on. I've got this bracket on because here, these two nuts here what I sent. It's way too fat. Wouldn't even fit through. So let's just get the stuff back out yet again. But I'm thinking, what am I? These two were sent to put on there. Eight mil. So I've changed them to, well, M8s. I don't know if that eight mil, I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's looking good, Chacodemus. Best looking at dog's eyes. I'm so happy. Yes, brav. Out of that bad boy, it's the bad boys. Mm -mm. Yes, brother. A little bit of a tighter. Then I uh, ramba tapa tippa tapa. Oh yeah, that's looking sick, bro. I'm happy with that. I'm on your head. Room tighter, record data, cloud. Oh look at that. Let's look in the dog's belarches. Has it got it? Mm -hmm. Mama. Whoa! Where it goes. Yeah? 
Pardon? Go on then. So. Hang on, let me just turn my camera off. Come out to Richard. Thank you for loving me. And there you go. Engine bars. Quick. Skid plate. Let's just set the bike up. I need a few things, a bigger screen. Screen, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>